guys welcome back to the channel back on the Cadillac Eldorado broom <laughs> that makes me laugh every time I say it broham um, so since the last video I, I was I was criticized by several people for saying, well, not several, one guy in particular, I don't remember what the name was, but it's, it doesn't matter. It's, it's fine. He said, you did, you, you talked for 28 minutes and all you did was a little bit of sanding. Okay. You know, whatever. Um, that's probably kind of true because there was a lot to talk about, but now I do have some gluing done rather than just sanding. So the, the top and bottom portions are glued together along with the interior. I had a commenter, and I forget your name, but thank you for telling me. You're like, you know, you, you can you can put the body halves together with the interior, just you gotta tape it off, mask it off. And that's and that's kind of what I was planning on doing anyway. So I've got the interior in there, it's glued in place. It's uh, it looks great. I'm just really the 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 biggest thing at this point is the roof and these side uh side panels that go here they go on the side here they have to be like stainless you know i can i can fake stainless whatever i've got yeah i can spray it with some metal metalizer paint um, that's no biggie. My problem is, is I usually try to put everything together that I can. So I don't have any problems afterward, afterwards, but there's no way that this is going to be able to be glued on previous to paint. I'll have to paint these separate and glue them on after the body has its color. And that's fine. It is what it is. Also, like I say, the windows on this kit are the actual roof support. So if I can get that to go on there. So there, the windows have to be this really defined trim on the, around the window needs to be either painted or bare metal foiled because then the roof does uh, rest on that. So what you, you have to do, I've noticed, is go ahead and make sure that your roof line is straight and matches with the windshield. Same as the back window, it also is the support. But the roof has to be also has to be stainless. So it's going to be a challenge for sure. Um, but that's okay. I'm up for it. Um, hey, if you hadn't already subscribed, go hit that subscription button. Like this video, when you get to the end at least, if you do like it. And uh, let's get going with this thing. Thanks for coming back, guys. And uh, it does make me scratch my head because you can't really follow the instructions. You do have to kind of go out on a limb and figure out your way of doing it rather than the instructions. But I want it to look sweet like that right there. That's what I want to look like. So I don't, not necessarily the, not necessarily the black, but I'm going to try and find a color. Maybe I have something that's close to a factory color that's not the black. Anyway, let's get going. Stand by. All right, so I think I've decided on a color. Look through some pictures of Eldorado, the 58 uh, Cadillac Eldorados, and um, I'll put a picture up right here. This This was like, this really caught my eye, that blue. And uh, so I've got this Nassau blue metallic right here. So I'm going to paint it that. But then I noticed that this bottom, this bottom here looks like chrome to me. So I think it would be easier if I were to crump, to glue these in place, paint them, and then come back and bare metal foil that. And then the roof is a like brushed stainless with the edge bare metal foil or or chrome along with the windshield and all those things so i think i'm going to go ahead and glue those things into place i think that would be easier and then go back with bare metal foil and do that 
and paint it again this I don't think this is a factory color but it, it is a, it is a nice color and, it, and it's pretty close to that picture that I just showed you so that's what I'm gonna do so we'll get some part more parts glued on some primer on we'll be back alrighty here we go got the blue paint on here turned out great did kind of highlight some imperfections in the body that I didn't really see but I won't just I won't point all those out to you but it did um, highlight some of those paint turned out great as always MCW paint lays down <clears throat> very nice um, okay so now my challenge is to bare metal foil this 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 chrome ridge here that's not real defined I'll kind of have to freehand that almost so all this and and before any of you guys say hey that's not chrome I've looked at some I looked at the picture that I saw this blue one here that I like the color that's all chrome down there now the roof is stainless but but best that I can tell all this was chrome not not stainless steel so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use bare metal foil. I'm going to paint the roof, which I have primered here. I am going to paint it with that a some of that AK Extreme Metal. I don't have stainless, but I'll get it close as close as I can. Um, but anyway, got my seats painted, got my wheel or my tires put together. Those are they're not they're styrene, so. Got them put together. They fit nicely. I went ahead and put them in my, my spinner tool and uh, sanded down the um, where they misfit, sort of. So I got that nice and smooth. Once I get the chrome, I got to paint the um, I got to paint the interior. Got my like I said, I got my seats, but I've got to tape off and um, tape off and do the interior. I think I'm gonna leave the dashboard. I want I painted it body color. And I wanted to, uh, I think, and I painted the steering wheel uh, body color. I think I'm going to leave that body color and paint the interior uh, door panels black. And all this, the edge of this will be chrome. So this is going to look nice. Anyway, I'm going to get with the bare metal foil and I'll do a side and come back and let's see what it looks like. Stand by. Okay, so I got the this side uh, foiled. Looks pretty decent from here. I won't get any closer. <laughs> and I went ahead and applied it to the other side. So kind of give you an idea how I'm doing it. Uh, very wasteful as far as the amount of foil, I admit. But trying to hack that sheet all up is time consuming trying to find anyway I got a piece that was just that would cover so this portion this bottom portion that goes up and it's that well actually again that's how it um, is gonna look the this 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 one here pretty difficult because there is really there's no molding line so I just had to kind of, I laid my uh, my little ruler down and, and cut the top edge and then freehanded the bottom. But anyway, it's going to look nice. Um, got After I do that, I'll do the, do the windows and um, see that, that ridge has got to have foil on it. But anyway, all right, so let me get this side cut out and be right back. All right, so this thing is definitely starting to take shape. I got the roof sprayed. I used the, it doesn't have the color on it or the uh, finish, but I think it's polished aluminum. Uh, looks close enough to stainless to me. I'll probably put a clear coat on that though because it's very flat. Um, I don't like the way that looks. It just looks like spray paint, although it is that metal uh, extreme AK extreme metal paint and then the edges of this will get bare metal foil so that will stand out that'll be a different finish than the roof the windows are foiled and 
looks honestly looks real good. I'd put the roof on there, but I have a uh, piece of sprue glued to it, so I can't set it down on it. But that's going to look really nice. So what I've got to do now is get the interior painted. So I'm going to mask. I'm going to mask off the uh, the body and spray the interior and also the um, the underside here. It looks pretty cool. The differential looks very not real. It's so big, but anyway, this has been really cool to build. Such a low parts count car, but yet you'll spend as much time with this one as you would uh, a new Ravel kit with like 200 parts. So here's the big uh, gigantic grill. I've got to get a bunch of black wash in there. The uh, wheels. I have already black washed. They're looking really nice. And I'm going to, in the center of those, that Cadillac emblem would have been red as far as I can see on the pictures. So I'm going to, well, actually, here on the box, see that red? Uh, it looks like yellow and red. But And another thing, you see those points on the end of the uh, those rocket tips? I, those are black and I need to uh, I need to try to paint those black it, it would break up this huge amount of chrome anyway um, it is just an enormous grill and I need to uh, try to break that up because too much chrome starts to look it just doesn't look right to me personally so breaking that up with the uh with the black wash i'll probably use acrylic black wash on that so it will completely ble completely be black rather than the way i did the wheels with the tamiya uh, black wash they're black but it, it it is is definitely a wash not a uh, a true paint so i'll probably paint that and then go in there with a q-tip and clean out all the ridges um tape off the body paint the uh, interior this is gonna look nice get the wheels painted um, I forget who it was was it Rob Spires I don't know if it was you Rob or not but anyway these have white walls so if you can see there's a ridge there um, I've got to put that I think if I put it in my drill my, my tire turner I can take a white marker or white gel pen or something like that and get in there possibly. I don't know. Maybe I can do it without putting it in the... Uh... I've got to paint the tires first. They're not painted. They're just styrene right now. So I'm going to paint them probably like a satin. Uh, something. I, I, I've still yet to find out how I'm going to mount these things to paint them because... I can't find any place. I guess I could do a toothpick on one little spot and then use that for the bottom. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video right here. Don't want to prolong this one any longer. Uh, try to keep these videos a little bit shorter so to maintain my audience's focus. But um, hey, you that said the first video was 28 minutes of just talking, I did get progress done on this one. If you hadn't, art, if you didn't unsu unsubscribe, I don't know if you did or not. I don't remember what your name was, but anyway, I feel like I did get some progress done. Got the paint, got the body primered, got the body painted, got the bare metal foil on it, which was, which was a big deal because that's a lot of foil um, to be done. Also, got the windows foiled, got the roof painted, got to get it foiled uh, and clear coated to give it a shine because it's like, like I said, it's just an absolute flat. It doesn't look good. Maybe maybe brush stainless was flat, but I'm not going to let this look like that. It just it doesn't look right. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hey, if you hadn't already subscribed, please hit that subscription button. Like this video. Put the thumbs up um, if you liked it. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. I think it still counts. To, <laughs> I think I still get credit for either one. I don't know. But anyway... Um, I'd rather you give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for getting me to nearly 10,000 subscribers so far. Um, it's not because I do great work. It's because you are a great audience and I'm surely, surely thank you. I'm surely appreciative for that. And I say thank you 
to all of you guys. Hey, if you hadn't gone to Hobby Nut Models where this MCW paint right here, Gulfstream, I'm sorry, this is Nassau Blue Metallic. It's where this paint came from, HobbyNutModels.com. The link is in the description below. Go check Hobby Nut out. Grab you a model kit, some sanding pads like these Infinity sanding pads that I love so much. I use them every single kit. I use these things. Go check those out. Um, uh, grab you a kit. Grab you some. Grab you a model. Grab you some paint. Grab anything you need for your model at HobbyNutModels.com. Facebook group. If you hadn't joined already, go join. I encourage you to go join the Model Car Videos Facebook group. All these things are linked in the description of this video. So if you don't know how to get there, some guys are like, "How do I get there?" So if you're on a computer. Under the video, there is a. It says description, and you'll only get a portion of the description. But there'll be like a show more tab. It'll say show more, or maybe a down arrow. If you'll click that, it will open up. It will expand that menu. It will give you the Teespring website. If you want to go grab a T-shirt or a sticker or a coffee mug, it'll show you the Patreon page. Uh, a link to that. If you want to be a Patreon, if you want to support me there on Patreon. Um, if you want to join the Facebook group, if you want to check out Hobby Nut Models, all those things are in the description of this video. Most of you guys already know that, but not everyone does. So it's important to, to point that out. So guys, thanks for watching this video. And hey, when we come back, this third, third part of this video, this caddy is going to be strolling and it's going to look good and I'm going to be proud of it. And we'll have pictures and a, oh man, it's going to be cool. That's what I'm talking about. I know that this is not from 1957, but these molds are. So this baby came from the same molds as the original in 1957. It may be uh, 1990, 1990, let's see, I'm trying to find it. 96, the year I graduated. 1996 is when this was popped, but it was from those molds. And I think that's classic no matter how you slice it. And that's what that's what I love about this hobby. I don't want to. I don't want to. But oh gosh, here I go. I don't want to bust open a new an old kit. I've got I've got some cool old kits up here in this in the, in the cellophane still, and I'd hate to these these little John Batera kits. I'd hate to bust them open. I would hate to. It would just it would just break my heart. These these cool Willie skits here are the ones my brother built as a kid. Anyway. The IMCs. But anyway, the ones that I get from you guys that you've already busted it open, I'm going to build it. Okay? That's a promise I'll give you. If you send me a kit and it's a classic and it's already been busted open, I'm going to build it. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I'm done. And uh, hey, we'll see you when this thing's got some wheels on it and a roof on it and some interior in it. And it's going to be cool. Take care, guys. We'll see you. Bye.